Welcome back. One of the big losers today is Intellect Design Arena. The stock is down 6.5% in trade. And that's because the co one contract that the company had with the government, which was not an IT, it was not the pure IT services kind of a contract. It was a contract for government e-marketplace, GEM, which is an online platform for buying and selling and, you know, distribution. That contract with the government has been terminated. Now, Intellect has been, you know, helping the government on with this uh, GEM platform since 2017, so close to about six to seven years. The reason for the contract being terminated <laughs> is that uh, the government came out with a request for proposal when they had to renew the contract. At that time, uh, the competitor's bid was more expensive than Intellect Design Arena. In fact, they said the competitor's pricing, sorry, competitor's pricing was 16% cheaper than what Intellect Design Arena's pricing has been, which is why the government has decided to go with competition. Now, because this contract has been terminated, it will impact the company's overall revenues. In FI23, GEM contributed 250 crore to their top line, and EBITDA contribution was about 11.7 crore. Now, this translates to about 11.5% top line impact as of FI23, and about 2 to 3% impact on the bottom line. Dollar Capital has come out with a note where they're saying there will be a transition period of 18 months. Uh, you know, to make sure to transition the contract from Intellect Design Arena to the competitor. So in FI24 and FI25, don't expect any financial impact on Intellect Design Arena. The impact will take place in FI26, which will be 7% on the top line and 1% on the EBITDA. Uh, but they believe, uh, you know, the stock should be accumulated and they have a target price of 660 and they're valuing the stock at 20 times forward multiples. So the EBITDA impact, according to Dalit, is only going to be 1% and that too by FI26, which is why they continue to retain their buy call. Well, um, for uh, the markets, it's well below the 19,400 mark. But as you can see, it's picked up from the day's low. Uh, the day's low today was a level of 19,345. So we're about 20 points above. The day's low on the Nifty. Out of time then. <laughs> yes, out of time on mid-cap, Rita. But stay tuned. The action continues on the <coughs> other side on your stocks when we return.